All right, today what we're going to do is take 10 of the most popular kitchens on the internet. They're really pretty. Let's see if they're functional as well. All right, first kitchen, first problem downdrafting a professional range. Uh, this is a cardinal no-no because it won't work. No, it won't work. Because the uh, the downdraft's got a small plenum and, and you're reversing gravity. So if you cook in this range, um, you're gonna have all the, the fumes, the nitrous oxide, the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide in, in your kitchen. The uh, quality of your kitchen air and house air is gonna be bad. Now, this is a problem because you, you put cooking in an island. And you, the only way, there's only a couple ways you can mitigate this. If this is some home, you're not cooking, you could put an induction cooktop in there and still get the performance of the six burner. You could drop a hood down, but that's gonna be expensive and it's gonna be a big design detail. Or what you could do is swap the sink and the stove, like they did in this picture here. Again, you're not getting the full range of windows. You are getting the windows on the left-hand side here. Um, but this is a far better way of doing it. putting a hood over a professional range, getting the smoke and air going up and out of your house. You're still getting plenty of window space here. Okay. This is actually a nice kitchen. What I would have done here is see this main sink. I would have swapped the main sink for the bar sink. Reason is, is let's just say you've got a, you're burning a pan of whatever you want the main sink here and then your bar sink there. And then you can put some, maybe your refrigerator here and have a nice little bar set up on the right-hand side. Still, I, I actually like this kitchen. Notice the refrigerator is on the side because you're not, you don't need emergency access to your fridge. Typically when you stir pots, you'd want to have your sink, your stove and your dishwasher tightly. You don't move a lot in your kitchen that way as well. All right, let's see what number three. Number three, I like, you've got the, uh, the hood. Hood looks like it's deep enough. A lot of the problems you have in wood hoods is, is they make it symmetrical to the cabinet so you don't have enough capture area. So again, the smoke and all those fumes stay in your kitchen longer. I like where they put the microwave. Microwave, once again, is not an emergency. So they put it away from, from uh, the central part of your kitchen. Typically, again, sink, stove, dishwasher, and a triangle so you're not moving around much. This kitchen's really nice. I, I like the way, again, it's not an all white kitchen, it's different. Notice how they, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the main questions we always got in lighting was how many pendants? Well, that depends on how big the pendants are, but the answer always seems to be three. These are three large pendants on a larger island. But I like the way they, 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 they mix the brass and the metals here. Uh, the, the hood is over the, um, is over the stove properly, covers the burners. And a nice little design detail with the lighting is they put, um, these are called RLMs, they're focus lights, focusing on the shelves here. Nice kitchen. This is really interesting, I thought. You have the industrial Sub-Zero with the traditional Lacanche range. See, everybody is, the windows like the new design detail here in kitchens. Let's see what they did is they put the sink in the window, so I don't have to worry about venting. They vent it straighten up. Notice the accents here on the stove, the hood, and the um, in the faucets. They have they have the same kind of mixed metal faucet as the mixed metal range and the mixed metal hood. And then they put the um, uh, you don't have to put recessed. You can as a as a target as a uh, as a lighting fixture all the uh, all over the place. You can do it. Um, with these with these lamps as well. Very nicely done, mixing industrial and kind of traditional in the same kitchen. This is interesting because uh, this is a cook's kitchen. Um, all you see the refrigerators, they've got the refrigerators here, but you have your stove and your sink for your cooking. See all the shelf space they have to lay and, and, and prepare recipes. And then you have your entertaining right here. Entertain here, you cook and prepare here. Look at all the refrigerators. You've got one, two, three, four, at least 42 inches wide. Interesting sink, interesting style if you've got plenty of space. Once again, I like this, you know, they maximize the windows, but again, I would have swapped the sinks here and here. This is a nice detail what they did with the hood over the pro range. Um, decent swap the sinks because if you burn something up, you want a kind of a better landing pad than, than that small bar sink. I thought this was really interesting the way they mixed the, um, uh, the 
the distressed wood with the regular wood with the distressed wood here. The, uh, they did a nice job with the uh, hood over the pro. Um, the sink, the, the main sink is right across from there so you're not moving around much. The only thing I would have done differently is, and, and this is just a detail because it's a beautiful fridge, is maybe make this integrated. See this, how it sticks out right here? If you integrate, integrated refrigerators are flat, right? So it would allow them to continue the bank of the cabinets until the refrigerator here. Small detail, but uh, beautiful. I even like their 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 um, lighting fixtures over here. Still a beautiful kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen in so many ways. Um, with the with the wood ceiling, the Hubbard and Forge kind of oh, uh, the 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 artisan lights here, the way they did the black around the windows and the black detail here. The only problem is once again. I'm a firm believer of, of, of putting the sink and the stove together. So I may have, I would have put the stove here in the wall of in here, because again, if you're cooking and you burn something up, you have to walk around this corner here to get it extinguished in the sink. Once again, I also think from the hood, they could have made it a little bit deeper as well. You want a hood, if you're planting a wood hood, you want it at least 24 inches deep. So it catches those front burners. Again, you're cooking on the front burners. And even on a on a regular gas cooktop, that's where the power burners are. A regular gas cooktop can have like 22,000 BTUs. But otherwise, I, I love the style. I just would have swapped this for this, put the wall in here if it's possible. Or we'll move the sink around here, maybe move the island a little bit out there. Uh, but a beautiful style. Once again, this is a this is a, a, a nicely designed kitchen. Again, you can mix metals for the purists that want to go do white and chrome. You can you can mix metals here and make it a little bit more interesting. The real problem here is the actual hood doesn't go over the stove properly. And again, when you cook on the main burners right here, what's going to happen is that smoke's going to bypass this hood and stay in your kitchen. In a white kitchen over time, not only is it bad for the air, but it's going to leave a lot of grease and residue on your cabinets. I like this again as a as a different style. We're trying to show something other than recessed white here. Evidently, you know you have the uh, you have the lighting fixtures instead of recess over here for spot lighting, matching the um, the island. Here's two um, kitchen island pendants which match the sink, which goes right across from the uh, stove. Very well done. You actually have a nice little area to, to, to eat in and because uh, and to have like a, a little short breakfast here as well. That's it. Those are some of the most popular kitchens from the last two years in the internet. Hope you enjoyed.